Hi folks, Dale York, Just Fish Outdoors. Hey, I've had some requests uh, for bank fishing videos, and uh, so me and a good friend of mine, Larry Stoltz, uh, we went down to one of our area reservoirs yesterday afternoon and uh, put together a, a bank fishing video for you, and uh, it turned out pretty good. Uh, folks, in, in, in this video, it's all about the conditions. I mean, the water conditions. So uh, we'll get into that a little bit and talk a little bit about that and why it's so important. But uh, let's watch some of this video. We're white bass fishing on one of our northeast Oklahoma area reservoirs. And uh, let's get into the video and uh, we'll come back and talk a little bit more. I bet that's the same bag. There's one. Larry. Got that one on the file. Sir? So that was pretty good one. Yeah, that was a pretty good one. That's a small one. Nice little fish. He'd be good to eat. Here's a quick tip for you folks. Whenever you're using a spinning reel, reach down there and close that bail with your hand. Don't close it with a mechanical handle on the reel. Close it with your hand, and I guarantee you, you'll have a lot fewer problems fishing with a spinning reel. Oh, missed that one. bass oh. 
well, it's the same bass, and that thing jumped. <laughs> That's weird. Man, these things are strong. Oh, they're eating it. Look at there. There's another one. Another nice one. Well, there's another one. Things are strong. My goodness. Another one. Hey folks, I hope you're enjoying the video. Like I said, we're on one of our area reservoirs here in Northeast Oklahoma, and it's all about the conditions. You know, we've had so much rain here in Northeast Oklahoma the last month or so that many of our reservoirs are, are, are full of water. And as a result, uh, they're releasing water out of their dams. And when they do that, uh, it creates current in the reservoir. And this is the key. When I talk about conditions, this is the key. You know, without this current, it doesn't stack those fish up in certain locations. And uh, they, they're just roaming around. But when we get a current going through these uh, area reservoirs, it has a tendency to stack the fish up in certain areas, especially where the, the lake narrows, which even creates more current. And as it does, these fish stage in, in areas along the points or around the eddies and uh, just wait for the shad schools to come in, and, and of course they just murder them. So that's, that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about it's all about the conditions. You know, that, that current that's generated when they release water out of these dams is, uh, is everything. And uh, so, you know, that's, that's one of the things to watch for when you're trying to locate these white bass is look for current. Current's a key because uh, it'll, it'll stack those fish in certain areas. 
So anyway, let's get back to the video. I uh, hope you're enjoying it. Crush that like button, hit the bell, so you'll be notified when I release future videos. Uh, drop us a comment. Let us know how we're doing. If there's something you'd like to see, more information you'd like to know on specific things, feel free to drop us a line, and we'll be more than happy to try to accommodate. So let's get back to the video, and uh, we'll come by a little later and uh, wrap all this up. Goodness. What we got here? I don't know. Could be a Gasparguni, I guess. I haven't seen him yet. Yeah. Check this out. One of your buddies. Yeah. <laughs> One of your pals. <laughs> I gotta go get him. <clears throat> Just give me my jig back. That's all I want. <sighs> Quit it. Ah, quit it. Slime ball. Well, one of Larry's favorite fish. Yeah, I was catching mine earlier pretty close. When I first started over there, I was getting bites way out there. Then as the time went on, I didn't get any bites way out there. They were all like that, about 10 or 15 foot. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> That's when you know you're around a bunch of them. <laughs> when they start hitting your port, port fall. Yeah. It may cut our fishing trip a little short. But that's okay, we can go eat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I caught two or three over there where you couldn't even see the jig. <laughs> You'll notice when the wind gets up, there's a pretty good size eddy behind that column right there. Which there shouldn't be any eddy on that side of the column. <laughs> Should be on the other side of the column. Fish on, son! Good Lord, these things are strong. All right.
Got a sweet side of that one. <laughs> That's peach. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to get a hold of the jig. <laughs> the line keeps sliding through my thing. Check that one out. Yeah, she's not got any eggs in her though. Rice. That's what I'd say. Man, did he hit that? Get you on. Get you on camera here. <laughs> what a pal. Yeah, I bet you wouldn't send that to Matt either. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew I could count on you. Well, I, I wasn't going to do it, but I thought about all those compromising positions you caught me in. I'm surprised you didn't break your finger trying to get to your phone. <laughs> yeah. That jig is gone. Another one. Chartreuse and white. Eighth ounce jig, Marabou. Yeah, that's the second one I've had to do that. Ah, oh, they're strong. Quit it. Oh, man. One there, one there. Oh, missed that one. Strike one. What? <laughs> All right, let's leave. <laughs> All the fish are gone. <laughs> Made a cast without a bite. And another one.
these fish were any meaner, we'd be having to use salt water tackle on anything. I got a pistol. <laughs> pistol and a club. <laughs> Be hunting them with shotguns <laughs> instead of fishing for them. <laughs> There's another one. Another Hudson Bandy. Good thing we're not fishing with plastic. We done went through 100 bodies. Oh! <laughs> Oh, a swing and a miss. <laughs> I've seen him hit that. I've seen your rod tip go doing. <laughs> oh, that's crazy, man. Boy, sure wish fish here. would bite. Huh? I said, sure wish fish would bite. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> Must be a slow day. Yeah, that's what I say. We'll, we'll be eating Vienna sausages. <laughs> Cotton chopper. There's Larry's last fish. My last one. Hey, another peach. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, folks. Me and Larry Stoltz just had a, a, a wonderful, wonderful time yesterday catching fish. Uh, we're not sure exactly how many we caught. We didn't really keep track, but we think it was somewhere around the 75 or 80. Uh, and, we, and we were only there about two and a half, three hours. Uh, so it was, a, it, was a <laughs> it was a great day. We really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. So remember, folks, current is the key on this type this type of deal so uh, uh watch for your area reservoirs when they're releasing water and, and get out there and find those choke points on the lakes and uh, you'll you'll be successful i guarantee now for equipment what we were throwing we were throwing six six and a half foot spinning rods light spinner rods on six pound monofilament line we were throwing eighth ounce marabou jigs. Uh, I was throwing chartreuse and white, and I think Larry was throwing red and yellow, I think. So uh, color's not as critical as presentation. Uh, many of these fish we were catching were only 20, 25 foot from the bank, and you had to have that jig close to the bottom when you hit that riprap area that we were fishing and it was almost a strike every time so uh it, it's very very important uh to to let that jig drop down to where it's close to bottom but not on bottom because you'll get hung up a lot on this riprap uh the other thing was notice how slow we're reeling this jig we're not reeling it very fast the water was off colored it, it was a little on the on the uh, murky side so uh you know bright colors slow presentation uh, was one of the keys, and uh, man, we, we just had a wonderful, wonderful time. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll be back next week with another one. And, uh, you know, like I said, drop us a comment. If there's something you'd like to see, something you'd like us to show you more information on, we'll be more than happy to do it. Uh, we do uh, a lot of multi-species angling around here, so uh, 
Uh, you know, we like to catch fish, <laughs> and, and we like to share information on how we catch these fish. So feel free to join us. Uh, like I said, hit that hit that like button, hit that bell, uh, so we can you know generate those views and uh, help us uh, do what we do. So anyway, this is Dale York, Just Fish Outdoors, saying we'll catch you later. <laughs>